oftentimes when we're sketching, we're not too concerned about scale. We sketch our geometry in the proper shape and then allow the dimensions to bring it back into the proper scale. With 2014, they've enhanced the sketch scaling as you dimension. To demonstrate this, I have a perspective sketch here in the background just to show you because it doesn't demonstrate very well. You don't quite notice what's happening. So when I edit this sketch here, and I start to add these dimensions, again you can see it's been sketched at a larger scale, but as I add this dimension, wanting it to be rather small comparatively to the 100 millimeters it currently is, and I enter that scale, that dimension here at 35, you kind of notice that it did a couple of things in the background. Without that perspective sketch in the background though, you wouldn't really have noticed what happened. It maintained the entire sketch in its scale factor, brought all the geometry down to the proper size, but it also maintained a proper zoom to fit as I had displayed at the time. Another outstanding enhancement, perhaps more in the user interface category than sketching, is the use of select tools. For a long time now, we've been able to use the window select, where we can click drag a box, a selection window if you will, around entities. And it would make a difference which direction you went. If I was to go from right to left, or if I went from left to right, it would only select anything inside the box. Right to left, selecting any inside and crossing. What they've enhanced in 2014 is the use of a new selection tool called Lasso. The Lasso Select tool still does allow you to work from left to right or right to left. So if I click and I drag my selection window here from right to left, you see I have the selection of only what's inside the Lasso. But if I go from right to left like this, you can see the change in color does reflect what's being selected as well. So everything crossing my lasso would be selected. Once again, from right to left, you can see the green shaded color. If you go from left to right, that sh shows the blue shaded color. Thus, anything inside that lasso would be selected. So this is very helpful, giving us a quick selection tool to then pick the geometry we want, give it the relations we want, and finally, I can add the dimension that I'm looking for here. I'd like to demonstrate one more thing utilizing this sketch, and that is the path length dimension. The intention here is that this is a belt, and to drive it as such, we can use our smart dimensioning tool but at the same time we want to change that style. So under more dimensions we can choose now the 2014 path length dimensioning style. Selecting that I can then right click on my entities and use the select chain command to pick all the entities I want included, in this case all of the outer geometry representing the belt, and then I simply click OK. That will then generate the path length dimension which can be easily driven as such, entering 265 for the length of the belt.